The police breached attorney-client privilege and phone-tapped a lawyer? A New South Wales pub owner turned a lawyer, Peter Desmond Payne, has been convicted for perverting justice. I'm curious to hear what this is about. A regional New South Wales lawyer has been handed a conviction for perverting the course of justice after helping a client avoid what he thought was a trap set by police to flush him out. Okay. And the problem is... Peter Desmond Payne on Monday pled guilty to a single charge in Sydney's Downing Centre local court, which heard he instructed the client not to attend a Central West court in October 2021. The client had a matter listed in Cobar after police identified him as an associate of another person during a drug supply investigation, a statement of agreed facts revealed. So the cops were going to arrest him when he attended at the court. He was due to be sentenced for driving with drugs in his system, but was found to have contravened a separate bail condition regarding living arrangements and was also wanted for breaching an AVO. With the matter marked must proceed, Payne told the magistrate he would try to find his client and requested the case be delayed until the following day at, Ny- at Nyungan. Payne was told by the magistrate that if his client wasn't present, the case would be finalised in his absence. According to the agreed facts, the solicitor was caught on a phone tap telling his client that... Excuse me? Excuse me? The police breached attorney-client privilege and phone-tapped a lawyer? Telling his client that if he attended court the next day, he was going to get bloody bushwhacked. He offered to tell the court he couldn't get in contact with his client and suggested police were using the uh, the drug driving case to flush you out. I got no problem saying that, that I haven't been able to find you and therefore have no instructions. I can see they're setting a trap for you. Okay, he's being disingenuous. But there are no good good actors in this. Payne asked his client if they wanted to go to jail the next day. F no, the man replied. Oh, YouTube and the no swearing is really going to kill me. No, well, effing stay where you are, he said. The next day, he told the magistrate he wasn't able to contact his client. Well, if he hadn't been able to contact his client that morning, he wasn't technically lying. Yeah, it sounds like he still pled guilty. Uh, Payne became well known in Cobar after he ran a local pub before it was destroyed by fire in 2014. The 71 year old was handed a 12 month community correction order by the magistrate who found the unsophisticated and spontaneous crime was at the lower end of objective seriousness. There is no doubt Mr. Payne is a very active and well regarded member of the community for a very long time. The magistrate noted Payne had a lot of knowledge about his, the client that he acted for, which may have clouded his judgment, but she said the community expects lawyers to uphold the law. Magistrate Miana said Payne was attempting to represent the interests of his client and perhaps wished to put aside his own privilege and success, uh, success to advocate for them. However, he crossed the line. I don't think he's the only one that crossed the line in this circumstance. Like, yes, reprimand the lawyer for what he did. But that, that that's some bullshit. <clears throat> The court heard Payne's practicing certificate has been suspended. His prospects of rehabilitation were found to be very good, considering strong community support. You made an error of judgment, which has cost you dearly. I wish you all the best, the magistrate said before he left the court. Bushwhacked, where do I sign up? 